Hello and welcome to my kitchen and crafting with a cocktail. My name is Daniela and on my channel we do crafts, cocktails, cooking, all sorts of fun stuff. Today I am joining the Meet Me in Paris collab hosted by Monarch Market. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. But this is crafting with a cocktail so we need a cocktail. In the theme of Paris, we are picking a Parisian cocktail, and this one is called the French 75, um, and it involves some gin, champagne, lemon, and simple syrup. So let's get right into it. So in my shaker here, and following a recipe I found online, by the way, I can have it linked down for you below, um, because I've never tried this. Also, I don't usually drink gin, so I'm a little scared, but a little excited. Um, and they didn't have any mini bottles, so I just bought a cheap bottle of gin. Anyways, let's see. So um, I think it does make a mistake here because it says add gin, champagne, and syrup to a cocktail shaker filled with ice. And I'm assuming it means the lemon juice because it doesn't mention that later. So I'm going to do the lemon juice instead. Also, champagne shaken sounds scary. So let's do that. I'm going to grab some ice for this baby. And I can give you a little bit of a hack or a tip on... Um, um, simple syrup. If you don't know what simple syrup is, it's literally just a sweetener for your drink. And it's just one part sugar to one part um, water. And then it's you could just like low boil it over the stove in a pot. I really needed a little bit. I don't use a lot of simple syrup. So what I did is I took a quarter cup of um, sugar and a quarter cup of water and I just microwaved it for 15 seconds, stirred it up, microwaved it again for 11 or 12 seconds, stirred it up, and I've got simple syrup. There's a few granules at the bottom here. It could probably go for five more seconds or something. So maybe 15 stir, 15 stir. But again, I don't use a lot of simple syrup. So this works for me. By the way, mine's a yellowish color because we use raw sugar. So it's got a little bit of a brown tint to it. Now I am basing all of my ounces off of one shot glass, which is considered 1.5 ounces in the US. I always thought it was two ounces, but I just Googled it. Okay, so add gin. So I need one ounce gin, so a little less than this full. Again, I don't usually drink gin, so I'm a little scared. Okay, so not full. By the way, I'm using my Space Jam shot glass, which has nothing to do with Paris, but I love it. All right, into the shaker it goes. And then half an ounce of lemon juice. So let's see how this goes. Try to fit it in here. So if this is a one and a half ounce thing, and I need half an ounce, then it's just going to be about a third of my shot glass here. That's what I'm looking for. Which is about what this is. So that works out. Cool. That worked out quite nicely. This is just half of a lemon. I'm going to put that in there. Let me know if you guys are gin drinkers or not. To me, it tastes like pinecone scented car fresheners. But I haven't tried it in a long time, so who knows. Okay, got that. Um, and syrup. Two dashes of simple syrup. So maybe I'll just get like a little spoon. Oh yeah, now it's disintegrated. So let's just do that. Just two dashes of simple syrup. Just using a little teaspoon or whatever. And we're gonna shake that up. It says to pour into a champagne flute. I don't know any. This feels like so little. Is this right? <laughs> okay, pour that into our so this is a wine glass. It should be in a champagne flute, which would probably make it look more full than it's going to look right now. And that's okay. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing in there. <laughs> that's okay though. And then we need a nice little, oh yeah, then our champagne. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. Oh, it's a twist top. Oh, perfect, because I'm not good at these. Oh, it's a little stuck though, huh? Oh, there it goes. It says two ounces of this. I don't know how to tell how much is like full or not because it bubbles so much. All right, I did like one and a half. Let's do a splash more just in case. 
to make up for bubbles. <clears throat> and then, oh snap, I'll figure out how to tie that back together later. I need a lemon twist. So I'm just going to, oh, that didn't work. Oh, but I have to do it that way, don't I? Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Well, we'll try. I'm gonna twist my lemon piece for the juices. Oh, I can feel the oils leaking out. Twist that up, throw that in there. And there you have a French. 75. Let's take a sip. It's not bad. I mostly taste champagne, which is mostly what it is. Yeah, that's not bad. I give it my seal of approval. Anyways, let's check out our DIYs for today's Meet Me in Paris collab. Cheers. Actually, right before jumping in, I just want to show the beautiful flyer for this. This is hosted by Monarch Market and co-hosted by Indy Annie Jones. I will have the link for the playlist down for you below. I hope you check out everyone's amazing Paris-inspired DIYs. After much contemplation and struggling to find inspiration, I ended up going with a painting for this piece, and honestly, I absolutely love how it turned out. I've been really into these beautiful, like, pastel sky paintings that I've been seeing a lot on Instagram and decided to make my own Paris scene, including it. I thought it would be more relaxing to just watch me paint than to try to describe how to paint things like clouds and the Eiffel Tower. So I hope you enjoy this video and find it soothing to just hang out and watch me paint. If you are curious, the only colors I used were like a magenta color, white, some yellow to do some highlights on the clouds, and then I used my Posca paint pen and a Sharpie to do the outline of the Eiffel Tower itself. So once again, I hope you enjoy watching this and find it just as soothing. I hope you all are enjoying this painting process so far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps support my channel and get my name out there. And don't forget to check out all the wonderful creators that I'll have down in the playlist and the two hosts, Monarch Market and Indie Annie Jones.
If you're enjoying this painting video or enjoy painting videos in general, I recommend checking out some of the other painting videos on my channel as well. As my final step, I'm just erasing my pencil lines here, and like I said, I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it's absolutely stunning, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you are inspired to make a painting yourself and to check out the playlist down below. Thanks so very much for being here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!